Hello everyone, welcome back to On The Fly. Today we're previewing the 2024 Stanley Cup playoff matchup between the Dallas Stars and the Vegas Golden Knights. So we'll hop right on into it today with, of course, some of the playoff history from years past. And there's been two times these teams have played. Obviously, Vegas is a relatively new team, but we'll date it back here to 2020. If you remember, that's the year that the Stars made it to the Stanley Cup final where they lost to Tampa. This one was, of course, the round three matchup in between these two teams where Dallas took it in five games. As well on is on 2023 last year where Vegas won the entire thing. They also played in the round three, and you know when they won in six games for Vegas, obviously moving on to win the cup. So when we look at it this year, you know it's going to be a, a very interesting matchup. Two teams that have a lot of track record of success. Vegas sort of getting their players back here from an injury which they've had all season long just injury after injury where Dallas has had a full consistent effort this is going to be probably my series of the first round you know two teams very evenly matched but very very solid and don't forget the winner of this will take on Colorado and Winnipeg which we've already seen has been lights out hockey so I am very excited for whoever comes out of this matchup as well as whoever comes out of the, the Colorado Winnipeg I do still predict Winnipeg will take it should be an interesting game nonetheless we'll take now a look at the scores from this year's season starting off on October 17th with a 3-2 victory for the Vegas Golden Knights over Dallas, as well in a shootout, I might add there, on November 22nd, a 2-1 victory for Vegas over in, in overtime, and last year on December 9th, Vegas won 6-1. And, you know, lots of sort of in-the-past games, so can't give it too much waiting. What I would say is, you know, the, the Golden Knights built their team, a lot of it, at the trade deadline this year, which was before any, or was after, rather, any of these games had been played. So kind of important to note, you know, Dallas, similar type team at the deadline afterwards, whereas, you know, the, the big bad Vegas Golden Knights went out and acquired some pretty big names at the deadline. So we'll see if that has any impact. Take now a look at the injuries, and this is why this video has taken so long for me to get out, I've been purposefully waiting, sort of taking my time to see who's in, who's out, because at that point, you know, we're a day before the, the, the first game will start. Every other, every other video we've already uploaded, if you haven't already, be sure to check it out. We have every preview listed now. You can find it in the description below. But we'll take a look at it now for the injury-wise with, just for the Dallas Stars, Yanni Hockenpah is the only, it's only the, the only injury for the Dallas Stars. You know, he will likely slot in if he's able to come back. Will he? Will he not? Sort of the argument can be made either way. He's a guy that's been injured for a little bit now, so whether or not he's able to sort of pick up his stride right away, especially playing against a really tough team, where it really is, especially early on in this series, crucial to take games for the, for the Dallas Stars. That'll be something I'm really taking note of. As well, let's talk about the LTIR merchants here with the Vegas Golden Knights. Yes, I know it was credible this year. Whatever. I'm still going to have problems with it because it happens every year. You know, you can insert that meme there. Every year. But the trick is, you know, Vegas, year after year, finds a way to circumvent it, is able to get their team at the highest cap they can, making a deep playoff run with the best team they can put forth. So hats off to them for figuring it out. We'll take a look at it now, of course, with the big one, Mark Stone, likely to come back for that game one. He'd be a huge pickup for the Vegas Golden Knights to get him back, as well as another one with Alex Petrangelo. He should be back for game one. You're starting to see a common trend here. So William Carrier is another one. He should be back for game one, whether or not he is or not course still remains to be seen all these players are likely to return whether or not they do of course will be a game time decision but I have no doubt to see all three of them in the lineup starting in game one which is obviously a huge pickup for the Vegas Golden Knights going up against the really the toughest matchup that they probably could have in the west with the Dallas Stars it's gonna be a great series and when we look at it of course Robin Leonard I haven't talked about him but he's out he won't be in this series so when we look at it, that's where that goaltending will come in with Aiden Hill should be an interesting one there but of course time after time the Vegas Golden Knights having a tough matchup in the first round should be an interesting one to see how they go up against the big bad Dallas Stars in this one we we'll take a look at it sort of the x-factor players that I'm looking at not necessarily your most talented players but the guys that are sort of gonna pick it up underneath who might sort of surprise you in this one I'm gonna start with Logan Stankoven 
uh, former World Juniors guy. Covered him a little bit during that time. But at the same time, this guy is a solid, solid player. Really lights out kind of guy. If he can get hot at the right time, Dallas has a very good shot at winning this series. So is Matthew Shane. He's another guy who he sort of got picked up off, off the waivers or the free agent signing, however you want to call it, buyout from the Nashville Predators. And he's another guy where, once again, he's just a solid player. He can get hot at the right time. Dallas is going to take this one pretty, pretty steadily. And the last one here is Jake Ottinger. When you look at it, I normally don't pick the goalies. I think I've picked them once in any, any other video. But you have to pick the goalies here for both teams because they've both just been so inconsistent. They can get hot at the right time, you know, pick up that hot streak where they, where they have played really well. It's going to be a crucial part to both Dallas's and the Vegas Golden Knights' success here. Talk about Aiden Hill once again, another sort of story of that. He's been really good at times. He's been really bad at times. It's just a matter of which goalie shows up for both teams. Could end up actually deciding this series. We've seen it time and time again, especially in the first round. You know, certain teams where it's sort of like Georgiev for the, the Colorado Avalanche. The game's not done yet. It was about 4-3 when we started filming it. So, you know, it's going to be an interesting one there. He's looked a little shaky early, as well as Samsonov and Wall in Toronto. Just sort of tough goaltending. So if you can get the right goaltender at the right time, going to really turn around the series. Take a look at the second one here with Tomas Hurdle. He's another guy, you know, good player. I'm going to stop you right there. I'm not calling him bad. I know I just sort of talked about how players that are going to surprise you. But for me, he's a guy that really has the potential to step up. New team, new sort of situation for him. We'll see if he can take that next role and really help his new team onward in this series. He'll be a crucial aspect, as well as Alex Petrangelo. He's a player that I am very, very interested to see what we get out of him, as well as Mark Stone. I'll put him on there sort of underneath him. But at the same time, Petrangelo is a guy, you know, he's hurt. Is he hurt? Is he really bad? Is he healthy? What's going on? He had the appendicitis. What's, what's his situation? It's going to be an interesting one there. What's going to be going on with him is going to be a crucial part to what Vegas is able to do in this series. You know, he's one of that, they look to look to him for that shutdown pairing. He'll play alongside Hannafin. It'll be an interesting matchup to see how he looks. As well now, we'll flip it over here to the keys for success for both teams. You're starting with the Dallas Stars. For the Stars, the first one is deep, deep, deep. When we look at it, they are a team that is stacked with deep, with depth, with talent. If they can use all four of their starters in that forward line, they can use all three defense lines, they will do just fine in this series. But if they only have two lines firing, it might be a tough series. If they can have one line firing, they're going to be in a problem. But if they have all four lines firing like they have all season long, they're going to do really well in this series. As well as don't bite. You know, the Dallas has been a team that doesn't take a lot of penalties. Pretty well-disciplined team. But at the same time, don't get roped in by Vegas. They're a team that is obviously going to try and push you around. They've been to the Stanley Cup final. They won the cup last year. They know what it's going to take to really get under your skin. Got to make sure you stay disciplined. And that goes for both teams. Both teams are very, very disciplined teams. We've seen it throughout the regular season. We'll see if it carries over to the playoffs. And the last one here is early and often. We look at it, you know, you have Petrangelo coming back. Mark Stone coming back. Hurdle who hasn't played that much early, early in this series, you got to look to those key players to really step it up and put the pedal to the metal and win the games early. If Dallas is able to win the, the first two games, they are going to take this series. If they can't, it might be an interesting one. And I really, you know, I've been grappling with sort of who to pick in this series. I I went with Dal I went with Vegas originally, and then I went Dallas, and then went back to Vegas. And as you can probably tell, I settled with Dallas. But we'll get to them in just a second. Second one here is for the or first one here for the Vegas Golden Knights in terms of keys to success is in, is the injury factor. How hurt are, are the players? Are they just coming back? Have they been healthy the entire time? They've been playing games. What's going on with their players? Are they hurt or are they not? Will be a huge factor for the series. As well as kaboom, when we look at it, this team is full of firepower, especially on those top two lines with the addition of Hurdle as well. You look at the defense. That defensive is just stacked off the chart. They're a team that has a lot, a lot of firepower. Be interesting to see how that carries over to the playoffs. And the last one is missing home. They're a team that does not have that home ice advantage 
and yet they are a team that has very drastic differences between their home record and their away record. 14 points is the advantage for the home side. So when we look at it, you know, they want to try and get back to home ice. If they can get back to their home crowd, going to be a different series. Should be an interesting one here. So they can now look at the matchup, and this is where you guys might disagree with me. I know there's been a lot of sort of rumors of what's going on. For me, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to take the Dallas Stars forwards here. When we look at it, their offensive touch is just unmatched. Four lines firing compared to Vegas's two power lines. Third one tends to be on every once in a while. Fourth line, more of a checking line. So for me, I'm going to take the, the Dallas Stars in terms of their forward group. As well, the defense has to belong to the Vegas Golden Knights. Just the firepower alone. You know, you look at it, Alec Martinez might not even play. Might be a healthy scratch. That's how deep that Vegas Golden Knight defense core is. Really, really solid on their back end. And lastly here, the goalies. I'm going to give the slight edge to Jake Ottinger. I think when we look at it, it's not really that much of a comparison to Aiden Hill, but Hill has been good when he needs to be. So we'll see if they, if you know, both those goalies can sort of pick up their game at the right time. Will be an interesting one to really monitor throughout this playoff series. Because at the end of the day, in my opinion, what this will come down to is who has the hotter goaltender at the right time will likely decide the series. But for me, I'm going to take Ottinger. And for that, I'm going to take the Dallas Stars in six games. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. If you'd like to drop a like, if you're really sure subscribing, tell all your friends, leave a comment down below your thoughts on the Dallas Stars versus Vegas Golden Knights. Until next time, see you.